over the last, I'd say two years, I've kind of become a bigger fan of the 1911 than what I used to be. And as such, I've been getting into more old guns and then working on older guns. Admittedly, most of that work's being done by a good friend of mine, Logan. And, uh, you know, he's the one who overhauled the T-Sauce that I put on the channel, and I've got a Swenson gun that he and I are both working on. However, I picked something up via the Rock Island Auction uh, Company, and he and I started working on this as the next project. And what that is, is an old Bullseye Colt 45. This is a proper government model. It's hard to see with the lighting here, but I'll roll in some photos at the end of the video. This is a 1919 production gun that was overhauled at some point. Uh, we're guessing probably the 60s or 70s. It could be as early as the 50s. But they installed a Bomar sight rib on here. We have front strap checkering that's kind of crude, but it works. A longer trigger. We have a grip safety that has a welded on beaver tail to give it some extra protection there. The uh, slide stop was checkered, but it's an original 1911 slide stop. We threw in some wood caliber grips and replaced all the springs, but I haven't shot the gun yet. So we're gonna do that today. The magazine that I have in the gun right now is the seven round Colt mag that came with it. And this one is, uh, we dated it, I think it's like 1942 production. But we're gonna see how this gun works. I don't fully expect the gun to be 100% reliable, but we're giving it some chances here, some good chances. We're shooting, um, I say we, I'm shooting uh, PMC 230 grain hardball, and then I'm gonna try out a couple of uh, Wilson 500s here to see how they do. But yeah, uh, we'll see. I'm just at five yards because we had a couple of concerns about um, the hammer hooks. So in case the gun shoots more than one bullet when I press the trigger, we're gonna see what happens here. So come up here and, Okay, at five yards, gun shooting pretty low, but it's not too surprising considering that this gun was, you know, likely used for bullseye shooting at 25 or 50 yards, right? So, yeah, let's come up to the target here. And again, I'm gonna move back for the distance, but it's just interesting to see. I was aiming dead center on the X. As the hit started to come up, I was aiming higher up on the gun. Now our Colt magazine here totally worked fine. Obviously, I don't, I'm not going to be using that magazine a whole lot because the Wilson ones are nicer, but we're going to come up here, drop the slide, put safety back on. It's an original 1911, so model 1911. Um, a lot of the controls are original 1911. Some were upgraded, so the original guns had flat mainspring housing, some's got arched one, but it still has the original safety that's very tiny, but it's quite positive because it was fitted well by Colt 105 years ago. We're going to come up here. Those Bomar sights are a little bit wonky. I like Bomar sights with the sight rib being so high. It just feels weird when you shoot this gun. So, locked open on empty there. We had some concerns that the reliability would be a little bit weird. Whoop, if I can drop the slide there. We had some concerns about reliability being a little bit weird because this gun is super tight. The, the slide to frame fits very tight. It has a little bit of up and down wobble, but nothing like crazy. But this gun was certainly fitted pretty tightly by someone back in the day. I'm gonna do a little bit of one-handed shooting with it. Let me switch magazines here. Do a little bit of one-handed shooting with this gun. Um, but I'm gonna probably adjust the zero here too, because I feel like the gun's going pretty low, whoop, pretty low for most of our shots here. But the reliability has been good. I mean, obviously it's just been two magazines. Uh, this is a gun that we were speculating probably couldn't do more than maybe you know, more than maybe about a box or two before it starts to have issues. Uh, it's got a national match barrel, a national match uh, barrel bushing. Very tight gun. So I'll do a little bit of one-handed shooting here. See, the, the weird thing is that, as you can see, my front sight's way out past into the barrel. It's to give you more sight radius. Because this gun's a little bit more top-heavy because of that, the sights take longer to rest. Now, of course, back in the day, they were shooting these guns. Um, but, you know, they were, they were being shot slow fire. It wasn't like quick shooting but um yeah a teeny bit of rattle but that's the magazine and the grip safety grip safety has not been sanitized or sensitized so i have to fully depress it but with the beaver tail at the top here and how how the fit is it's really easy to fully depress that grip safety so i'm gonna do one more round right handed here not bad and then i'm gonna switch to my left hand here come up here and one more yeah so this is going to be a little bit of a gun that probably won't be featured a ton on here, but I got it for a steal from Rock Island. We've put 30 bucks of parts into it and then 80 bucks of nice wood caliber grips. But yeah, I'm going to get the uh, sights zeroed because with the elevation here, 
Um, well, we've noticed that sides are just kind of wonky depending on the caliber. So yeah, but worked for uh, 23 rounds and I'll be shooting at some more today. So thanks for watching.